Wobblies. Welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this episode we are taking a look at our Wonder Junior Grain Mill by Wonder Mill. Back when the COVID-19 pandemic first started, flour was very hard to come by and we decided it'd be a good idea to purchase a grain mill so that we could make our own flour if we needed to. We also purchased a bucket of whole wheat or wheat berries as well as dried whole kernel corn. The mill we chose is the Wonder Mill Wonder Junior. It's the one we chose to get for two reasons. One was price and the other is it's manual and we didn't have to have electricity run it. We purchased the package that comes with two sets of grinding wheels. One is a set of stone grinding wheels that you use for dry materials, which is what's in the mill now. And then another set that is made of steel and it's made for grinding wet or oily materials. The Wonder Mill base has four holes in the bottom that will accommodate a half inch screw. And you can bolt it to the top of something, a table, if you want to, if you want to have it set up permanently. We also purchased a clamp that it comes with. For the video, we have attached the Wonder Mill to an old oak stump, which is incredibly hard and dense. To attach the Wonder Mill to the stump, we used four half inch lag screws. The first time we bolted it down, two of the screws broke off. The second time, only one broke off because the wood is so incredibly hard. So we're going with three bolts and hope it holds. We've already done the break-in process for the grinding stones in that we've run a cup of wheat berries through the mill. That removes any of the dusty kind of particles off the grinding stone. We're gonna grind a couple of cups of wheat berries in the mill. After we run the flour through, we'll take the mill apart so you can see all the pieces and how it goes together. Right now it's a bit too coarse, so we're going to tighten up the stones so that they're closer together. This larger wheel is the one that moves the stones closer together or allows them to travel farther apart. That determines the coarseness of the grind. The further apart the stones are, the more coarse the grind, and the closer the stones are together, the finer the grind. So we have turned it so that it will push the stones closer together. This is the locking nut. And then after you get the large nut in place, so you have it set as you want, then you tighten up the smaller nut, the locking nut, to keep that in place. That has just a tiny bit of grit in it. I think I'm gonna to try to make it just a little bit finer. So we will turn the larger nut clockwise from your point of view. Tighten up the locking nut. Has a little bit of grit. Do just a little more. It's never going to be quite as powdery as all-purpose flour that you buy in the store because it is. Um, it has all the pieces of the grain in it. None of it's been removed. This wheat isn't refined as much as the wheat is that makes all-purpose flour that we get in the store. The stump is working great. I like it.
This is the wet auger used for grinding oily or wet items and its associated washers and bolt. These are the stainless steel burrs that are used when you're grinding wet or oily items. This is the burr that will attach to the grinder itself and be stationary. These are both stainless steel 4 inch burrs. This is the burr that will slide over the shaft and be the one that turns. While Wonder Mill provides good setup documentation and videos, as a newbie, there were some things that I wasn't sure about when putting the mill together. Because of that, I'm including a bit more detail than usual in this review. Though it isn't intended to be a tutorial, I hope the additional information is helpful. And these nuts are supposed to be on till they're just finger tight. The reason we purchased the Wonder Junior was to be a part of our emergency preparedness. When compared to other non-electric mills, the Wonder Junior is a very good price, especially for the quality with its unibody style construction and it's very heavy duty. It's uh, made of thick aircraft aluminum and um, it's, it's really well made and very simple at the same time, which is good for longevity. It should last a good long time. Once it's bolted down to a very sturdy surface, it's super easy to use. It's relatively smooth and you get a rhythm going and it's not so bad. It makes, it's not so bad. The specs say that you can grind one and a quarter cups of flour a minute. And I would say that's about right. Even with shooting the video, the time it took to grind two cups of grain went really quick. And before I started using it, I thought that I was going to have to run the grain through twice in order to get fine enough flour out of it. But that turned out not to be the case. When you have it bolted down to a really secure surface, then you can tighten down the burrs so that you can get a nice fine grind and it's still easy to grind. The key seems to be having it bolted to a very sturdy surface so you're not dealing with wiggle or wobble and, and that just makes the whole process go so much easier. We also purchased the table clamp and it is fantastic. It will fit tabletops or countertops that are up to two and an eighth inch thick. And then you have to have a certain amount of depth. It's around two and a half to two and three quarter inches um, depth so that it has enough to bite and hold onto. 
So with the flour I ground, I did make a simple flatbread, some bannock, and it was really, really nice. Um, put some honey in it to sweeten it. Could have actually put in some more, which surprised me. I was worried I was gonna make it too sweet, but it was good. It tasted good. The consistency was nice. This isn't a paid promotion. We purchased this item ourselves. And down in the comments, let us know what you think. Do you have a flour grinder? What kind do you have? And what are your thoughts, pros and cons? Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter Outdoors. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.